How's it going folks? Welcome to the video. Today's background noise brought to you by a fan, possible distant roosters, which I'm beginning to think are just in my mind, but probably not. And yeah, maybe some chatter in, in the next room, I don't know, I don't know. I'm also frankly unaware of what my hair is doing. I took a shower this morning and I washed it, but then I took a nap because I was super tired, which I'll get to later. Uh, and yeah, it's just been stupid, so whatever. I'm done with you, hair. So today I want to talk about the fact that adulthood, adult life, can be sometimes just downright ridiculous. Like, flat out ridiculous. Strange, weird, hard to understand, funny and awkward and just weird. Like, not like the drudgery that you expect it to be, like the, the mundanity where you're just kind of like plodding through work and whatnot all day. It's full of weird scenarios. And this is not meant to turn into a pep talk like, hey, you know, adulthood's a real grind, you gotta be strong, you know? It, no, it's meant to be more like, what is happening? This is weird, you know, other stuff. Like, I just mean, you're going to encounter so many scenarios in your adult life that are just weird, that just seem strange or kind of off to you, and are like, you know, why am I doing this exactly? Or why am I putting myself through this just so I can have this other thing? Why, why am I doing this to myself? This is kind of related to yesterday's video where I talk about taking life less seriously. Because you can be tempted to take life very seriously when you're busy, when you're doing things. And then out of nowhere, life will just slap you in the face with something that makes you think, Why do I even bother? Like, what is all this... Like, what am I trying to achieve with all this? This is ridiculous, you know? Um, and so I want to talk about an experience I had just this morning um, that is ridiculous and but is still just part of, honest to goodness, regular adult life. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's just talk about it. So as you may know, I'm interviewing for jobs in Japan and this morning at 7 a.m. I had a job interview for a job in Japan. However, in earnest, my mur my burning my burning my morning started at like, you know, 2 a.m. Because last night at like half 11, I got home from my girlfriend's auntie's birthday party, which I also meant to my movie yesterday, and can't even talk anymore. And yeah, I was super tired at or half 11 at night, which is pretty lame, I know. But I had to prepare for the job interview, and I had a lot of stuff to do. I had to put a bunch of documents together to send them. I had to plan two lessons to teach via Skype, via web conference, and I had to email a bunch of lectures to tell them that I wanted references and whatnot, and then I had to do other stuff. And I I finally got to bed at about 3 a.m. and I woke up at 6 a.m. to begin practicing, like rehearsing my lesson plans. And um, the lesson plans and the setup of the web conference are wherein the ridiculousness kind of is located. So the first lesson that I taught, or like mock taught to this lady, like a middle-aged lady in California, because that's where the interview was hosted, um, the, the company is based in California but they hire people to go out to Japan, their, their, their sites are in Japan, their schools are in Japan, main offices and whatnot are just in California. So 15 hour difference, it's 3 p.m. in California on the um, 16th of November, Today is the 17th of November here, obviously, because of the time difference and whatnot, and so I had to be up extremely early. First lesson I taught was a simple language lesson to uh, a small group of elementary school students, uh, intermediate level, and I had to like just do some stuff, like some, like, I had to make up the lesson myself, it was fine. Nothing too complicated. But the second lesson was, you know, just kind of mortifying in some ways. As the job would be teaching children, and you are expected to perform for children, play with children as you teach to like, help them interact with what they're learning and stuff like that. You have to do a lot of singing. And so I had to give a song lesson. And so I was told to teach Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and, um, you know, plan a 10 minute lesson around teaching how to, you know, how to, how to teach a, you know, a three year old or whatever how to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in English. And yeah, so. So at 7 a.m. I found myself singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with three hours sleep to a middle-aged Californian woman via web conference. And like, 
I was nervous and I was uh, I was uncomfortable because you know it was, it's hot. I didn't have the fan on because it was blowing my my papers around. I had to have paper props for like examples and stuff like that. And I was just like, it, it, I don't mind singing to children because it's fine. You have to do it as part of your job as a teacher. They don't really judge you for being a terrible singer, but adults tend to do that. <laughs> and yeah, like I was just I was just singing "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star" in my awful voice to this frankly very unamused middle-aged lady in California who was working in the middle of the day and you know clearly just doing her regular thing but here was I at the you know dead of the morning trying to not fall asleep on, on camera and get through the song and also pretend that she was like a three-year-old girl you know, because that was my that was my my purpose for the lesson to show up like as a teacher. So I was pretending this middle-aged, very unamused-looking woman was, you know, a, a tiny little Japanese toddler trying to meander her way through Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I was saying stuff like, "Yes, Yoshimi-san, very good, excellent. Let me hear your voice. I want to hear you sing and all that sort of stuff." And I was like, like inside, I was dying, but on the outside, I was doing my thing, and it was just like. I just I was trying to think of like how would I how would I report on this to like you know my college mates and stuff like that back back in college and I had like a vision of like traveling back in time to my my, my college class in like fourth year and um like 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 having them ask me oh, hey Luke oh my god you made it back from adulthood what's it like out there and me being like guys I just had to do a job interview by a web conference at 7 a.m. in the morning and sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to a middle-aged lady in California to get a job. Like, like I, I, I was literally doing that. Like, like, like it, it seems so weird. Like being having to sing a song like that. It's almost like you're being like you're like forced into doing it, like beg for a job or something like that. You know? And it was just, it's just like, like. What is this? You know, how did, how did I get to this point? How did I get to where I have to do this to get a job? You know, it's so weird. Like, it is so far from what I imagined. I imagined like this would be all very serious and stuff like that. We'd just be like having conversations about like my suitability for the job and talking about my qualifications and my time in college and stuff like that. But there I was at 7 a.m. totally like bewildered because I had had no sleep at all and I was so like just out of it trying to get through a song and, and, and pretend this this stoic faced lady was a, a Japanese toddler and like if I could have gone back in time and told my you know pre pre leaving college self that adulthood was going to be a lot like this I think I would have been a lot more relaxed about leaving college because this isn't scary this isn't hard to deal with it's just weird like it's just really weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> so much of what I was worried about, so much of what I was imagining in my mind about what grown-up life would be, is just you doing these things that you just have to do. You just getting through these odd experiences, these strange run-of-the-mill, no wait, non-run-of-the-mill experiences in, in order to, to qualify for something, to avail of something, or to achieve some sort of, you know, experience. And, like, it's just so asinine and, like, you know, benign is the word I want to use. It's just so weird. Like, you, you can't make it up in some cases, but also it's just like, yeah, this is, this is actually what adult life is like, and there's absolutely no reason to feel petrified about it, because you have to have a sense of humor about it, you know? That, that's one big thing about growing up. You have to develop a sense of humor about, you know, feeling like a fish out of water, struggling to adjust to new scenarios and stuff like that. And a lot of the time, adulthood will really ungracefully induct you into those new experiences. It will, without warning, force you to do things that you're uncomfortable doing, that you've never done before, and that you're sure you look like a total idiot doing, but you have to do anyway, and you're better for doing it, I think, overall is what I want to say. So I've been rambling for way too long about this, but I think you get the point. I, I, I think I've got my point across. Adulthood 
is strange, it's weirdly inconsistent, but it's also wonderful in that it plonks you in the middle of totally weird experiences that you would never have ever seen yourself in the middle of, and that that in itself gives you some comfort, because it's not all mundane drudgery, it's not all stomping through, you know, joyless activities that are all the same. Sometimes you have to do really weird things, really funny things that are just like, cool, let's do this, let's try this, but also at the same time, like, I hope no one records me doing this because it's weird. <laughs> and I don't want my friends to see this. But yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Guys, that is the video. I hope you had a reasonably good time, thought some thoughts, and yeah, maybe you, you had some similar experiences that you might want to talk about down below. That's totally cool if you want to do that or not. Um, up to you, never gonna bite, um, never gonna ridicule or, or uh, make fun of anybody for, for sharing something. So so yeah, just just do it if you want to do it, it's cool. Anyway, yeah, that is the video. Um, yeah. As always, take care.